community still picking up the pieces from last year's devastating Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon fire are fearing the flames once again. Fire officials are still trying to figure out just how many homes have been lost in the Las Tuzas fire as they work to keep that number from growing. News 13's Gabe Chavez has the latest from Sapeo. Last year, and I lost my property, my mother, and then now we lost more land. Anger and disbelief in northern New Mexico as yet another wildfire destroys homes, affecting some of the same families who lost everything in the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon fire last year. Mad at the government. One resident we spoke to told us when the fire broke out near his cousin's property yesterday, he jumped into action to save them from losing everything, which is what happened to him last year. Yeah, but you know, I wish I could save some more land. The Las Tuzas fire is currently burning through the community of Sapayo, which is about 20 miles north of the city of Las Vegas. As of 8 p.m., the fire has burned a thousand acres and is about a mile away from the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon burn scar. Everything's looking better than it was last night for sure. Um, everything down in the community is we focused a lot of efforts in there today, so that's looking very, very good. Officials say the fire is currently 0% contained, but growth throughout the day has been minimal. One of their concerns, if the fire reaches the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon burn scar, it could rapidly spread through the fresh grass that has only started to regrow. Firefighters are hopeful that the precipitation expected this weekend will help them get the fire under control. That being said, um, that might not happen as we know with all forecasts. So we're just trying to really set up to where this thing is good to go. Residents say it feels like reopening a wound that had only begun to heal. It was a long day and long night. I'm tired. I'm really tired. Gabe Chavez, KRQE News 13. There have been no new evacuation orders since last night. The communities of Las Tuzas, La Tewa, Tewa and Sapeo are still evacuated and road closures are still in effect for Highway 94 and New Mexico 26.